Hey guys and welcome to a brand new video. So in today's video we're going to be checking out the brand new batch of new Shinko Teak ponies here at South Who Farm and I'm so excited because they're so adorable. The Shinko Teak pony breed was released about five weeks ago so today Star Stable is back at it again with another batch of Shinko Teak ponies. This time they released a Bay Tobiano, a Palomino, and a Red Roan Sabino and they are adorable and I cannot wait till I can show you. So yeah, as always, without any further ado, let's get straight into the video and check these ponies out. Here we are and here we also have the three brand new variations of the Shinko Teak Pony. So here we have the Beethoviano, which is really adorable, just not exactly my type of horse. I wouldn't ride this one all the time, that's what I'm trying to say, but I do like it. And then we have the Palomino, which honestly, I feel like this coat is so, so well done. I love it so much. And then last but not least, the one that really stands out to me is this one over here, and I believe this is the Sabino. This is the Red Roan Sabino Shinko Teague, and I love it so, so much. Like, this coat is everything. If you take a closer look at the coat, you can really see how detailed it is, and I love this one so so much. The Palomino as well though. This Palomino is really well done. And then we also have the Tobiano which is also pretty detailed I'd say. Do you see this white over here which is pretty normal for a horse? That's cool, right? I'm gonna keep saying it. Star Stable has been killing it with coats lately and I'm just really, really enthusiastic about these coats. And if you haven't seen my previous video that I did when these ponies came out originally, I will link it in the upper right corner. But in that video, I said that I wasn't 100% sure about the gates and I still am not, which is why I'm not gonna buy all of them today because they're just not my favorite horse breed. But um, this coat, you are coming home with me. I also quickly want to tell you that these ponies are 700 star coins each and I also wanted to mention that ponies right now have the same speed as horses. They removed the pony speed so if you want to you can compete in any championship with the same speed as a normal horse but when you buy a pony there is just one little advantage that you have and that is the pony championship and the pony race as well though. Plus these horses are pretty cheap. They are 700 star coins each which I don't think is that expensive compared to the past what Star Stable used to release so yeah the Shinko Teak Pony y'all. Each one of these horses has a level restriction of level 7 so you have to be level 7 to get to South Hoove in the first place actually so you don't need to really worry about level restrictions which is a great thing right so now we are going to take a look at which horse I want to buy and like I said this one over here is definitely coming home with me. I'm just not sure if I want to get the Palomino as well because it's so so cute. I've also been debating on getting this Black Pinto over here because it's also really a adorable. I wanted to get it on my alternate account at first, but for some reason, it's really grown on me. Anyway, that one was from the previous batch. Now let's take a look at these three. So I'm first going to buy this one over here. I need a name. And y'all know that I'm really, really horrible with names. So I'm going to take a few minutes and I'll be right back with hopefully a nice name for this horse. The horse kind of reminds me of like a Western scene in a desert or something. I don't know. I kind of want to name it after something like that. Do you think they might have west because they do have south so they probably also have west yes they do oh my god we're gonna pick that you guys and now i just need that last part so give me a minute okay i am back and i have finally decided on a name and i decided west main would be pretty cute for this pony so like i always say let's go ahead click on okay and buy this horse Okay, here we are. Here is Westmain. Oh my god, he's so adorable. I just picked out an outfit and I know it's pretty basic, but the coat is kind of wild already, so I wanted to do something calm and serene. That's the word I was searching for. So here we go. This is the outfit I'm gonna wear on Westmain today. I really want to get the Palomino too. I really do, but I feel like I have to save up on my alt and buy those horses on my alternate account, so I have them on there as well, but then I have that prop 
problem of like, I want to ride that horse, but it's on my alt. And it's kind of a really big struggle sometimes. So you know what? I'm going to do what I always do. And I'm going to stand in front of the ponies for a good half an hour and just think if I should do it. I have a ton of star coins, I know, but I want to spend them wisely. So that's why I'm just going to think about it for a little bit. But before we are heading back to South Hoof, I just quickly want to show you a few clips of this horse right now. The gates on these ponies are very well shown in my previous Shankotique pony video, so go check that out if you want to check out the gates as well. But yeah, just because I really want to show you guys this horse, here you have a few clips of the Red Roan Sabino. <music> at South Hoof and I think I finally decided on what I'm going to do. I'm going to get the Palomino Chincoteague Pony on this account and the Tobiano on my alternate account. I don't know if you're aware but I actually have a trackener that has a coat that's very similar to this one from the Star Sable Horses app and literally that horse had been my favorite for quite a long time until I got a new favorite horse. I switch a lot so this coat is definitely like one of my favorites. Not as in all-time favorites but it's definitely one of my favorites. It's very cute. So I'm gonna get this one on my alt just because I want to have two horses with a similar coat on both of those accounts So now let's pick a name for this Palomino Shinkotique over here and I'll be right back I have finally come up with a name and I decided to go with a sunkiss because I feel like this horse's coat Has like a sunkissed vibe. So here we go. This is a sunkiss. So let's go ahead and buy her <music> And then here we also have the Palomino version of the Shinko Teak Pony. So I'm going to show you some more clips of the horse itself and I'll be right back to buy the other one as well. <music> Okay, and then last but not least, the Bay Tobiano. So let's go ahead, pick a name, and buy this one as well. And then here we have Charm Prince, and oh my god, I actually still have Star Coins left for another Shinko Teague, but I think I'm going to save it up for a new horse breed that might be coming out soon, because you know Star Stable, they usually release quite a lot of horse breeds throughout the year, so I'm going to save up. I actually really like this horse. Like, this type of coat is something that I feel is necessary in my stables. Star Stable doesn't usually release a lot of these um, brown pintos, so I'm really, really happy about this. Let's now go ahead, pick out an outfit and also show you some clips from this horse as well. Okay, and that was basically it for the new Shinkotique ponies, but don't go yet because they still have something else to tell you about. So on the Star Sable website, it says that in some areas on Jorvik, the arrows indicating where to go while you are in a race haven't been visible enough to allow for a safe riding experience. So Star Stable adjusted those arrows a little bit and we're gonna take a look at them right now. So I'm just quickly gonna go through this race and our first arrow is right over here. This one goes like, you have to go straight forward and these indicate a turn. So these are the new arrows. Um, they have black and white on them and they're pretty visible if I'd say so. And then last but not least, Star Staple also had something to say about updating the terrains on Jorvik. So here is the part that they put on their website. I'm not going to read it all because it's quite a long text, but you can pause if you want to read it. We have come to the end of today's update video. I really hope you enjoyed it. And I also just want to say, 
Thank you so, so much for 51k subscribers. We hit 51k in a period of like three days. That's pretty insane. So thank you so, so much for that as well. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. I would really appreciate it. And it definitely also helps me out. If you want to see more videos of mine, then don't forget to subscribe down below and turn on your notifications as well. So you'll never, ever miss out on any videos. And yeah, I really hope I'll see you on Saturday with a brand new video. Bye guys.